Look into my eyes. When you see me on a show, when you see these fans, you know you've got the best in the damn world. This is the Wrestling Matters Podcast where we stand up for professional wrestling. Here we, here we, here we fucking go. Well, enough is enough, and it's time for a change. Professional wrestling, this is it. This is us standing up. Yes, 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 yes. That's 1314. Let's make it to Dina, I am the best in the world. Because that's the bottom line. Welcome one, welcome all to another podcast brought to you by the Wrestling Matters channel and exclusive to the Wrestling Matters channel and yes, after a two week hiatus, after what was an epic show called Built to Destroy, we're back with WCPW Season 2, that's right, Season 2 kicked off this week. Now, before I get to the matches and review the show... I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who supported the last WCPW podcast, which was Built to Destroy Review. You guys, for what reason, I don't know, but I love you for it, got that podcast up to 1,000 views on YouTube. Over 1,000 views, close to 1,300 at this moment in time. But guys, I love you for it. Um, I hope we can do it again. I hope we can do that again and aim for that high again. But you guys seem to be enjoying the the podcast. You seem to enjoy it last, the Built to Destroy podcast. So hopefully it will work this time around. And hopefully it will work out in this podcast as well, which is the very first episode of Season 2. That's right, Season 2 of WCPW Loaded. Which was headlined by Aaron Stevens versus Doug Williams. Now, for those of you that don't know, many of you people probably thinking, who the hell is Aaron Stevens? Damien Sandow, anyone? Oh, yes. Damien Sandow in WCPW under his real name, Aaron Stevens. And he wrestled Doug Williams. I will get to that later on. But we kicked off WCPW with an insane match, quite frankly, which involved Will Ospreay, Noam Dar... And El Higuero in a triple threat match. And oh boy, was this action packed. Let me tell you. Though the matches were, Da was working on Will's leg. You know, tries to work on the leg. At one point, he even got a double champagne super knee bar on both his uh, opponents. Will had a spell in the match that he went one-on-one with both men. And don't get me wrong, Da and El Higuero went one-on-one with each other as well in the match. But the match was amazing. I mean, at one point, one of my favourite moments at one point was Will Ospreay hitting two clotheslines on Liguero in the corner, and for the, goes for the third clothesline, Liguero moves out of the way, but Osprey manages to jump over and do a dive on Norm down the outside, which was just insane. Absolutely insane. All in all, amazing match, and the OS, the OS cutter, as he calls it, got Will the win, and both, all three men shook hands at the end of the match. I mean, WCPW promoted this on their YouTube channel before the show and said, this is one you do not want to miss. They weren't kidding. Let me tell you, they were not kidding. I mean, oh my God. <coughs> and a great way to start off the show. Alex Gracie went one-on-one with Joe Hendry, which saw Hendry get the victory eventually. Uh, the numbers game was with, uh, with uh, Gracie, though, because Prospect with a wing, uh, ring side. And not only that, Joe Hendry had to do this match on his own. Now, I don't care what anyone says. Joe Hendry manages to get the win. Basically, it was four-on-one for most of the match. But I don't care what anybody says. From what I'm seeing and from what I'm watching, it looks like Joe Hendry and Joseph Connors or Joe Connors, despite the fact they were, you know, the reconciliated after the match and everything and they shook hands and whatnot, I still think there's something going down between them two. There might be a one-on-one match between them two. I still think that. You know, I believe it when I see it, but I still think that. But all in all, a good little match and Joe gets the win. 
and you know Joe Henry gets the win and Joseph Connors manages to save him from a prospect beatdown. Anna Pacini introduced the women's division in WCPW, which saw B Priestley, I hope I said that right, versus Nixon Newell. B was looking for a count out win and I think Nixon was mostly dominant. I mean, it was one point B put her chewing gum into uh, Nixon's mouth and pissed her off, quite frankly, if that's a better way to put it. Not a bad match to start off. Like I say, with the company, this whole thing can improve. I think these two are advertised to face each other on the 24th of August's big show that WCPW having called WCPW Stacked. Again, another one like WCPW Built to Destroy. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. But a headbutt and a weird Canadian destroyer uh, got the win for Nixon because I don't think she took the bump one. I put, quite frankly, I actually think she was knocked out from the headbutt. Like I say, Nixon got pissed, pissed off in that match. She really laid into Brie towards the end of the match. And there's no question about that. And Nixon goes down as being the first woman to win a match in the women's division in WCPW. And fair play to her for doing it. Uh, Prospect, the two remaining members, which was Archer and Drake, took on Liam Slater and Johnny Moss. And Johnny Moss and Liam Slater basically dominated the crap out of these two. Simple as that. Simple as that. Dominated them both from start to finish. Yes, Prospect got their wins in. Prospect got their blows in. You know, Prospect got what they could get, what they could get in, but holy shit! And I saw this match, and I knew what I already knew. Johnny Moss is a monster. Double suplex on both Prospect, and you know Moss and Slater end up getting a dominant win. They're a new tag team in WCPW, and I'll tell you this right now: I wouldn't want to mess with them, especially when Johnny Moss is pissed off because he is a monster. There's no question about that, and he proved that tonight. And if you don't believe me, Go and watch the match again. Prince Amin and Gabriel Kidd. Amin just being a complete prick. Because Amin won the match against Gabriel Kidd for Gabriel Kidd to be a slave. And he's just, he's just being a complete prick. Now for the main event of the evening, which was Aaron Stevens and Doug Williams. Aaron Stevens, better known to everybody as Damien Sandow. And Doug Williams had a real problem with this guy leading into this match. And these two faced off for the number one contendership for the WCPW title. Doug using dirty tactics. Doug taking control. A very scary moment in the match as well. And I'm not a big Doug Williams fan, although I do respect his ability and everything. But I've had, you know, a difference of opinion with Doug. I've met him before and, you know, less said about that, the better. But when Doug Williams went on top rope, his leg buckled. And he fell off the top and landed on his head, which wasn't good. And it got to the point where Stevens had to count, get you know, Stevens had to win, beat Doug, and the ref fast counted. It looked like it was, it looked like a fast count, but I guess he was doing it because Doug wouldn't quit. And you know, I think the referee and Doug Williams were close mates, you know, really good mates. And they're like, no, no, I can't let this happen. I can't let him risk serious injury. So he had no choice but to, you know count the three. I mean, don't get me wrong, Doug will bounce back, but that did not look good <coughs> in that match. No question about that. That did not look good at all. But Aaron Stevens will now go one-on-one -on -one with Damo. And as Aaron Stevens was celebrating, Adam Blumpier shows up, comes out and starts staring the pot towards Stevens, which led Damo to attack him from behind and leave a message, you know, make a statement. Because in two weeks, it'll be Aaron Stevens one-on-one -on -one with Damo. So, yeah, we have to wait and see on that one. But, all in all, good show. Despite the technical problem, yes, there was a technical problem, guys. But they managed to get the show out. Uh, credit to WCPW for doing that. And credit to World Culture as well, guys, for that. And, yeah, a two-week break. They come back with a bang. And long may it continue. Because I've been very impressed with WCPW up until this point, And I've been very surprised that I've actually brought the, this podcast. Because if you listen to the Wrestling Matters podcast, I have been ill over the weekend. So, you know, I'm not asking for any sympathy, guys. But I brought you this podcast. So, there it is. And, by the way, as Damien Sandow would once say, you're welcome. But it's not easy to record or work podcasts when you're ill. It's not easy at all. Especially when you can't get out of bed in the morning. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for listening. You could 
check this out on the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash AJW Wrestling Matters. You can download this episode for free on SoundCloud. And yeah, check out the new episode of the Wrestling Matters podcast. Link will be in the description below. And until next time, guys, my name is Anthony Walker. Hashtag WCPW. And I'm out. Wrestling Matters. Well, enough is enough. And it's time for a change. Professional wrestling, this is it. This is us standing up. Yes, 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 yes. That's 1314. I'm making this. Dina, I am the best in the world. Because that's the bottom line. The stone gold sub-sub!